using matrices to solve systems of equations on the graphing calculator. The use of matrices to solve systems of simultaneous linear equations was invented in China some 2,000 years ago. The scope of this video will be to take systems of equations, such as the, this system, organize these systems into matrices, then use the graphing calculator to calculate the solution to the system of equations. Then, finally, to interpret the calculator's output to describe the solution to the system of equations. For solving using matrices, you need to have a system of equations in standard form, such as this system, which means that they are both in the form AX plus BY equals C. Letters other than X and Y should not bother you. They will not make a difference. If you have a system of equations where the equations are in slope-intercept form, such as this system, your most efficient approach to solving in the graphing calculator is, I believe, to place the equations in Y equals view and solve the system by pressing second trace 5, enter, enter, enter. But for solving systems in standard form, such as this system, using matrices is a great way to do it. You have to make sure that the terms above each other are like terms. For instance, in this second system, blue system below, if you have that bottom equation having the Y term first, like this one, you need to switch the position and use the commutative property of addition to place the X term on the left and the Y term on the right to, to line up directly underneath like the terms in the top equation. If you have a mixed system of equations like this one where you have one equation in standard form and the other in slope intercept form, you can change the slope intercept form equation into AX plus BY equals C form by moving the independent var variable term on the one side to the other side and changing the sign of the term. Whatever the case, if they're not perfectly lined up, you will need to use some basic algebra to get all the terms in the correct place. Let's look at this system of equations. We have 4x plus 3y equals 6 and x plus 3y equals negative 3. We have to look carefully and see that each equation is in ax plus by equals c form and we see that they are. In conventional use of matrices, these systems are rewritten in the matrix array form as shown here. The coefficients of the x and y terms are arrayed here on the left. The x and y variables go here in the variable array, first variable on the top and second variable on the bottom. And finally, the constant terms variable or numbers are arrayed to the right of the equal sign. But instead of writing out the matrices by hand, we can enter the equations in this form directly into a matrix in the calculator. We need to get to the matrix menu by pressing second, then press the x to the negative one power key on the left that has the matrix above it. This is the matrix menu. Arrow twice to the right to access the Edit submenu. Press Enter. We are now in a matrix setup screen with the cursor blinking over the one on the left. This is where we set up the dimensions of the matrix. We look at the system we're solving and see that it's lined out in two rows and three columns. This calls for a 2 by 3 matrix. We press 2, then Enter. This takes us to where we need to enter the number of columns. Press 3 then enter. Now the matrix is set up for us to enter our values. First we enter the coefficient of x which is 4 then press enter. We see the 4 is entered properly here. Now press the coefficient of y which is 3 press enter. We see the 3 in its proper place. Enter the constant term on the right which is 6 press enter. We see the constant 6 in its place now we enter the coefficient of x in the second equation. What's the coefficient of x if it's just x? Well, it's 1. Press enter. We see 1 entered properly. Enter 3, which is the coefficient of y in the second equation. Press enter. We see the 3 in the correct place. Now enter the constant of the second equation by pressing the negative sign, then 3. Press enter. We see that negative 3 is in place. Compare the numbers in the matrix to those in the system of equations to make sure they're all correct. Clear the screen by pressing second, then the mode key right next to it which gives you quit. For the next step, press second, then back to the matrix menu by pressing the X to the negative one key on the left. 
arrow once to the right to the math submenu arrow down until you get to the RREF choice RREF stands for reduced row echelon form and I'll just mention it here a little shortcut instead of scrolling all the way down to B you can access RREF by pressing alpha then the apps key that has the B above it press enter now we enter matrix A by pressing second then for the X to the negative one key again on the left for matrix we are in the matrix names submenu and A is already highlighted press enter press the closing parentheses press enter this is the matrix A in reduced row echelon form the key numbers are the ones on the right of the matrix the 3 means that for the solution the value of X is 3 and the negative 2 means that the value of Y is negative 2 let's write down the solution before checking we check our solution by storing 3 for X and negative 2 for Y we do it by pressing 3 storage X then enter the negative 2 storage Y then enter the storage key is just above the on key we try out our first equation by pressing 4x plus 3y then enter we see that we have 6 the same as for our original expression for the first equation check now we enter the left side of the second equation x plus 3y and press enter we see that negative 3 matches the negative 3 of the left expression of the original second equation check we have proven our solution let's try another system of equations this one's 2p minus q equals 6 and 2p plus q equals 10 stop the video and solve the system using a matrix remember that you get to the matrix menu by pressing second then the x to the negative one key go to the edit submenu first to enter the matrix clear then go to the math submenu to enter RREF then solve by going to the name name submenu for matrix A restart the video to see if you got the correct answer Here's the equation entered in matrix form on the calculator. Note how the numbers are the same as those in the system of equations we're evaluating. And here it is in reduced row echelon form. The solution is P equals 4 and Q equals 2. Here's the completed check of the solution. We get 6 and 10 just like our original equations. This check is really not a check of whether the calculator figured it out right but a check that we entered the matrix values properly in the first place to result in the a correct solution just a few things to remember first have the equations lined up in standard form all like terms in the same columns secondly enter the matrix menu by pressing second then the x to negative one key then go to edit this is what the matrix looks like on the calculator third clear the screen and go to matrix math and scroll down to RREF then enter alternatively you can press alpha then B to avoid scrolling fourth enter matrix A by going to the matrix menu then pressing enter fifth close the parentheses then press enter pick out the two numbers on the right they will be your solution this has been using matrices to solve systems of equations on the graphing calculator thanks for viewing